What's up guys, this is JST with a quick update. Uh, this is actually a bit different than normal videos in the sense that there's not going to be any actual gameplay per se, but instead I'm just going to be talking over uh, the video in the background. Now, the thing about Advanced Warfare on the Xbox 360 is I got it back in November because I wanted to, obviously, I was, I was happy that they were actually putting it on 360 as well because I thought Advanced Warfare was going to be a next-gen only game. See, what ended up happening was that when I got it, I mean, I, I, I had some concerns. I pre-ordered it first. I had some concerns that, wait a minute, we don't actually know what it, you know, it looked like. It was a bit like the Titanfall situation in the sense that it was going to be on 360, but it's going to be done by a different studio than the main studio. In the case of Titanfall, Respawn made the main game, and Bluepoint ported it over. And the same thing was happening in Advanced Warfare. Uh, Sledgehammer Games was making the main game, and uh, High Moon Studios supporting it over to 360. And what worried me for Advanced Warfare in particular, was similar to Titanfall, was that I, we hadn't seen anything. We hadn't seen any gameplay, we hadn't seen any previews, we hadn't seen, you know, whatsoever. And understandably, they were trying to push the Xbox One version, because that's the main version. And I had some concerns, oh, what if it looks crap, or like, what if it isn't 60 FPS? But the thing is, it, it was going to be 60 FPS no matter what. Like, COD has always done that. And graphics-wise, I at first thought it was going to be in the same a similar situation to Ghost in the sense of it's going to be a lower resolution, lower detail version of the Xbox One version. I was half right. You see, Advanced Warfare on Xbox 360 is a great looking game. I mean, one, my capture card can't possibly capture the quality, so in the first place this is probably a bad comparison as far as that goes. However, you can see even with my capture card quality that the thing about this game is on on 360 is it lacks the the finesse the, the high detail of the Xbox One version like and even in the lobby here you can't see like the smoke in the background or anything it's just it's kind of like static. In fact, that's how a lot of the game is in general. The game is very static in so far as the maps themselves have many things taken out of them in order to make them run on 360. Because on Xbox One. They're really pretty, they're really dynamic, they have all this stuff going on in the background, it looks really cool. But on Xbox 360, they had to really kind of tone it down in order to make it work. See, mind you, this game, and the best way of explaining it is, this game was ported to 360. It wasn't developed for 360. What that means is that the game has tons of things that the, the Xbox One version has that this game, as I said, either took out or toned down or you know, changed altogether. And it's not all good, unfortunately. And mind you, wh whereas this game is, it, it plays exactly like the Xbox One version. It has all the same weapons, it has all the same game modes, it has all the same unlocks, like nothing is different gameplay-wise. It's 60 FPS, it's smooth, it's a fun experience. And mind you, I played all the way to Master Prestige, I have tons of unlocks and stuff like that, so it's not like I'm disappointed with the gameplay aspect, I think the gameplay is, is perfect. It's the same thing everyone else has bought on every other console. That's fine. What bothers me personally is that Advanced Warfare on 360 lacked the... It lacked the, the finer quality, the finer detail of quality that makes Call of Duty experiences worthwhile. Sure, the gameplay was fine and fun, and I played it all the way to the end. That's There's no disputing that. But... What bothers me personally is that I have always loved the COD games because even in the quiet moments when, you know, nothing's blowing up or no one's really getting shot, I can sign it, I can kind of, I don't know, it's just the same person. I can sit back and just look at the map and just see the detail that went into it. I love Ghosts on 360 because Ghosts on 360 was, well, it was a developed for 360. It was developed for 360 and Xbox One at the same time, and it came out looking just immaculate. It's definitely the best looking COD on Xbox 360, at least as far as I'm concerned. I mean, Black Ops 2 looked really good, and Ghost was an even a step up from that. And I really, really like what they did with all that. And I just feel like with Advanced Warfare, they were so focused on making the Xbox One version stellar that they, I guess, didn't particularly care what became of the 360 version. It's, it's, it's really a shame, because the 360 version, when it looks good, it looks great. Maps like Green Band, Retreat, and Solar look fantastic. Just literally everything about them looks really good. The detail is nice. The maps look great. The maps look like they put some effort into it. But 
there's a couple of things about the, like the finer details when you look into it that kind of stagger you how they just didn't bother. I mean, mind you, I'm just going to dip into creative class here. Like, stuff like, and it's hard to see on my capture card, stuff like the perk images are kind of awkward and unoptimized and slightly blurry for no real reason. Uh, some of the weapon designs aren't as... I don't know, detailed because it's 360, but that doesn't bother me too much. The thing that bothers me personally is the fact that in the customization, a lot of the armor just came out looking, well, wrong. Like, mind you, the armor I have on now looks pretty good, and that's why I'm happy with it, but... And hopefully my capture card can show this fine. Like, stuff like this, uh, the Marine Grenadier Exio... Uh, I just said that wrong. The Marine Grenadier Exo Elite uh, loot. When everyone got that for free, it was it was cool. It's a good looking thing, but like when I put it on, for whatever reason, the textures are blurry. You can't even properly see what design that's supposed to be, which is a real shame because the thing itself looks cool. So there's that. I mean, in fact, it puts me off wearing a lot of the outfits because the blurriness is a real shame. And, in fact, I'd go as far as to say I, the only armors I wear are the ones that look good. And I think that's one thing that really was kind of the nail in the coffin for me for the 360 version, in the sense that I loved unlocking stuff. I'd worked really hard to unlock some of these exos and some of these outfits. And it's a real shame that a lot of it just is blurry or doesn't look right. I mean, I'll just show you my other characters and just the final outfits that I've been wearing. Oh, that's the... The, the Ranger Exo, that was one of the newer ones that unlock for everyone for free. You know, this is my second customization outfit, which is a compilation of different, like, elite gear. This is the third one, and my most prized one, to be honest, because I got that helmet, which took me ages to get. Then you have the Marksman pants, which is for getting, I think, a thousand kills with ever, with, sorry, with seven different my primary weapon types, which would be forever. So I really like that. And the Marksman Exo, uh, as well, to go along with it. See, when it looks good, it looks good. Like, that Marksman Exo looks really good. Like, it actually came out looking fine. And finally, my fourth one, which is actually a... piecing together different, kind of alternate, uh, pieces that I really like. So there's the free helmet, there is the Sentinel Medical Loadout, there's Sentinel Recon Pants, and, uh, Marine Exo, which is also slightly blurry, but you know what, I can forgive this one because the detail's not meant to be too high res. Anyway, point is that... Whereas I'm happy with the gameplay, I'm happy with my progression, I'm happy with all that I've done in this game, I can't say I'm all that happy with the lack of detail where it counted. They definitely put effort into this game, into this port, but I feel that if they had gone that extra mile and had made this game look good for 360, I could have, I would have been happy, I wouldn't have needed to have this drive to suddenly get the Xbox One version, because I, I don't know, I feel like I've been sold half a game almost. And whereas that's exaggerating, and most people who play this game just don't seem to really matter whether or not uh, the armors are blurry or whatever, but to me, it just feels that, like, this is the, is this the COD game I wanted, but that's not the COD game I got. The COD game that I want is the Xbox One version, and until I get an Xbox One, obviously I won't be able to play that. But... As far as the 360 version goes, you know, I've enjoyed it, I've been happy with the gameplay, I've had some pretty awesome moments, and I've had some good times with it. I've played it ever since I got November, and it's currently now March. But in terms of where I go now, I mean, I just hit Master Prestige last night, and whereas I'm happy with my progression, I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to go to the Master Prestige. I'm just going to stop on just the Master Prestige at the end of 15, and just call it a day for the 360 version, because... You know, it's been fun, and I'm happy with my progress, and I'm happy with my unlocks, but I don't want to continue my gameplay experience until I potentially have the Xbox One version, and I know that's wishful thinking. I don't know if I'm going to have it tomorrow, <laughs> Un unlikely, very unlikely. I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm going to have it in the next month or the next year, I don't know, but for now, I'm just going to stop with Advanced Warfare on 360, and just, you know, move on, because I think 360, I've had it for about, you know, seven years now, I've had some fun with it, but this game, to me, despite not being optimized for 360, so no, maybe it's not the perfect example, but this game wasn't... It's not the experience you should be looking for. They put it on 360 out of obligation, but really this isn't the 
the quintessential Advanced Warfare experience. If you want this game, get it on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. You know, on 360 and PS3, if you want it, if you can afford it, fair enough, but if anything, this is a preview of what the game is supposed to be. So, I don't know, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I know this video was boring, it's not actually any gameplay, it's just staring at my character and me basically more or less moaning about the game, but that's all I wanted to say, and I hope that maybe in the future I can get the Xbox One version, and, and hey, who knows, maybe I'll make some videos of that too, so this has been JST, see you later.